What happened to it? I just don't have no car. What happened to it? I just don't have no car. I never had a car. You never had a car. This is Melvin, right? Oh, he hung up on me. Oh my God. That's the people I work. A few months ago, I was scammed on a Corvette and it was a three month process and the video aired last week. And I gotta tell you, street justice is the best served justice. Far better than calling the police or courts. And last week I made a video that went tremendously viral, unintentional, it wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. And in today's video, I'm gonna go over the results of the guy that tried to scam me on the Corvette, the backlash of the video, because the police called me, and then also what it's like having a viral video, because it's only been four or five days, and just like an influx of emails, fan mail, uh, phone calls, texts in the middle of the night, and just some threats that were made to the, the scammer too. Today's video is packed with just like aftermath blowback that I wasn't expecting. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's get going. So hey, welcome to Flying Wheels. I own a small car dealership in New Hampshire and we sell a little bit of everything. This is my Audi e-tron GT electric vehicle. I have some 90s cars back there, Toyota Celica, T-Bird that we're gonna do a restoration on, Jeep Wranglers. I have some fun toys in the garage and then just your, like your everyday vehicles as well. But the stuff that makes my job really fun are the toys. My Escalade convertible, the Ferrari, that Nissan 240SX with a Corvette engine. That is why I do this job. I don't do it just because I love to sell trucks and minivans and provide tr tr everyday transportation. That isn't that glorious. This is the fun stuff. Corvettes, that's the fun stuff. And everyone loves a good Corvette and here and there. And I sold a Corvette to somebody that scammed me, Melvin Johnson. And I made a video of behind the scenes, which is what this YouTube channel is about. Like the insides and the outs of a used car dealership, what it's really like. And like I get lied to all the time. All the time. Even this week, someone tried to trade in their BMW and forgot to tell me that it had a salvage title. So like when I scanned the VIN, like, hey, what's up with the huge, terrible accident it was in three years ago while you owned it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. I'm like, yeah, but it also has a, a reconstructed title. You didn't tell me about that. Oh, yeah, 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 it does have a reconstructed title. I'm like, that changes everything, and you never, never told me that. And had I not looked up a history report, I wouldn't have known that. I'm just constantly lied to. And... And last week's video was about a Corvette that a guy scammed me on. He tried to tell me that he gave me all the cash right in front of me and he was $8,000 short. And then all of a sudden that cash mysteriously showed up out of nowhere in his truck accidentally, even though he blamed me for losing the cash that he did give me, which he didn't. Then he needed to pay me the balance on Cash App and Zelle and two credit card charges. And I tried to show you the bat, like how I covered myself. And I ended up only losing $500. And it's because I manually keyed in one of his credit cards and he charged back. Both credit cards, I got one charge, went through, and the other one he charged back and I couldn't get back. So I ended up losing $500. And Melvin Johnson, I I'll tell you, he knew what he was doing and he was scamming me and I fell for most of it or some of it, but I kind of felt it happening. So I, I covered my butt the best I could. It ended up costing me $500. I'll just take that as an education. But I made a video about it and I exposed him because if he's doing it to me, he could be doing it to you and then I want you to know the scams too. And to be honest with you, I've, I've called police on things before and they'll just say like, hey, it's a civil suit, take it to court. And then you take it to court and then it's like a six to eight month process. And if you do win, then you, you, you have to try to collect. The court doesn't make you collect, doesn't collect for you. You have to be now a collection agency and if they can't afford it, you do it in payments. And like... They don't pay. And if you do get anything, you're lucky. And that is like justice served, like legal justice served. The best justice is street justice. And I am fortunate enough to have this YouTube channel where I get to make videos and I will have no problem exposing somebody if they're doing something wrong. I, I do plenty wrong and I expose myself on this channel as well. Anytime I do something wrong, I fess up to it so there's nothing hidden. And I love to give shout outs to people when they're doing something great as well. So the, 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 like having this soapbox I get to stand on works well in all areas. And in that street justice, I have a viral video that I was not expecting to go viral that people really, the internet took over and did its job. I've already been talking too much. Let's just dive right into it. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Do I have some updates for you? Okay. It's only been like 13 hours since we released a video. Uh, of Melvin Johnson, the scammer from the Corvette. Yeah. Uh, last night at like 10.34 p.m., I got a call from the police department. 
That was a good reaction. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good reaction. All right, so the power of the internet has taken over and I just didn't realize it. Uh, I make these videos because I wanna be relatable to people, show people like how the world works, what it's like being a car dealer and the scams that are out there so you know what to look for. Last night I got a call from the police department and you guys, uh, I'm appreciative and the internet took over, it went wild. So in today's video, I owe some apologies, I owe some thank yous. There's a lot of news and updates. Just from our best performing internet video ever, it has become a sensation and went viral, which is not what I was expecting. <laughs> oh my God, I'm excited. All right, so three months probably, it was like June, July, uh, Melvin Johnson from New York bought, bought a Corvette from us. Yep. Uh, can you, you did most of the back and forth. If you could just go, just do a quick recap because I talk way too much. I wanna make a quick video this time. Okay, so basically he called, put a deposit down, came in, got the car, said that he was missing cash on the table, had to get cash out from his daughter and uncle and brother, whoever. So it was just a lot of back and forth. Very quick, very a quick recap. That was forth. great. And he called you like multiple times every yeah, day. And every then he called time. me multiple times. It was a scam the whole time and we didn't know it. So in three months from start to finish, that's why that video was so long. Um, I put the video together, we edited it. I released it last night. I had more vid viewers on our premiere than I ever have in history. It was like something like 3,500 people were on the live chat talking. That's never happened that's before. Right. Now every Sunday and Monday, Sunday or Monday, it goes back and forth. Like 8.30ish, I release a new video. I do it on Thursdays too, about 8.30. And then people can go on and live chat with me and we can talk about the video and just updates and stuff. So the video's aired live. It's not like a live video, it's aired and you get to live chat. Kind of neat. Most viewers I've ever had live chat, it was kind of neat. I woke, uh, the video ends, number one video in history. Kind of neat. I wasn't expecting that. I was just thinking like, hey, this is what's going on in my life today. Everybody gets to see what's happening. I wasn't expecting like this video is gonna just go viral. Mm -hmm. So 10.34 p.m., I get out of the shower. Bing, bing, Danville PD. Hey, Craig, uh, Danville PD, I know them well. I, you know, they're in town, we're a small, small town. Hey, Craig, did you make a video tonight? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I got a call from the guy you made the video about he said his phone has not stopped ringing since 8.30 p.m. Non-stop. I'm on the phone with him for 30 minutes and his phone just kept ringing. That's why the phone call lasted so long with the police department. So I'm like, oh man, I didn't even give him, I, I didn't give his info. No, I just said yeah. his name and he's from New York. And he's like, well, the internet did their job and found this guy. So I'm gonna say right now, please, please don't call him. Please don't call him. I didn't make the video to harass him. No. I made the video because people should be called out. I'm not gonna pursue it in court. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go through the whole rigmarole in court. I'm not gonna go through the police department. If it, it doesn't work. You know, no. you just went through this <laughs> stuff. I'm not gonna go through your story yet, maybe. But <laughs> you, you know it, it yeah. doesn't work. Yeah. So I took my own action and I made a video and the internet did, again, did its job. And it did more than the police and more than the court systems could do. So. The police department called me, hey Craig, can you just like maybe make a comment asking people to not call him because they're threatening his life? Oh my God. So please don't call Melvin Johnson and threaten his no, life. That's... Please don't call him at all. As a matter of fact, I wanna just, my, my phone has been ringing like crazy all night. Text messages, wait till you get the fan mail. I'm gonna call it <laughs> fan mail. Like the emails, you're gonna be inundated with emails. I appreciate the support, but we're like, we're real people. So yeah. we have a job. We can't, I, my, I can't even answer my phone today. It no. just keeps ringing. I woke up to so many text messages. Please don't call me unless you're interested in a car. I appreciate it very, very much. I'm flattered. But it, we just don't have the time. No. We don't have the time for it. Text, all of that. Email, if you want to email us through our website, we read that stuff and respond. Yeah. But please don't call or text. I appreciate it. Don't. All right, go in the office. I want to show you some stuff. I walked into work today. I get a call from a guy, Massachusetts number. So I haven't answered anything outside of New Hampshire, Massachusetts, or Maine because I just can't talk to that many people. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, I get a 508 phone call. Massachusetts, I'm like, oh, I must be interested in a car. The guy calls me, Craig, last night's video was great. He's like, I gotta tell you, you look stoned. You look so high. Your eyes were so red. I have severe allergies. So like, if you see the puffiness, I have crazy allergies. I wasn't high. He goes, I, I'm not judging, suboxone, whatever. I'm like, no, I'm not 
I'm not on drugs, okay? <laughs> I promise you I'm not on drugs. I have severe allergies. Well, that's not even the point. The video, and then he goes on about the video, which is, again, flattering. It's nice. I, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos, and that's why I make them. And without you, there would be no videos. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Um, but he called me. And then I get him, uh, now I'm just like, I can't answer all the calls. Hey Craig, I'm watching your video now. Let me explain something to you and me. I'm 30 years old, I live in New Orleans. I sell cars, time to time. Give the guy's number, What? give me the guy's number. I'm trying to make a prank phone call. I'm such a convincing prank phone caller. It's not even funny, I just wanna make that M -F -er squirt out of his A. This is my voicemail, like I'm leading visual. Texas, Texas is calling me right now. Mm -hmm. I can't, I just can't answer them all. Uh, I'm not even gonna go through how bad that text is, but and I appreciate the support, but please, it's not necessary. Don't do no. it. Um, Craig, call me back. I really need a number. This is different. I need the number from Melvin Johnson. I won't even mention it that you gave it to me. I'm just gonna say I was a guy that messed around with him. It, like it's look how long it is. It just oh. goes. It goes really long. And then I've gotten calls from like that was Texas 509, wherever that. My name's Mark. Uh, I really saw, recently saw a couple of your last videos. Uh, my name's Juan Carlos. Uh, it, like, it just keeps going. So the PD called me, he's like, can you just like maybe delete where he's from? I'm like, I don't even think that I put it in there. They found him, I said New York, they found him. Can you, so I get an email like 11.30 at night, DM on Instagram, email, text. Craig, urgent. So I'm like, okay, let me see what it is. I gave out his phone number. <gasps> it's insane how I gave out his phone number, okay? So I'm gonna flash back to what I was doing right now, ready? Flashback. So coincidentally, Melvin, the buyer that bought the 2015 Corvette that told me about his church and told us he was gonna put my name on the wall and what a great guy I am and we're going to the Corvette club, he charged back his credit card. Okay, so I was chatting right here with you in, yeah. the, in the desk and I go, I'm gonna call him right now. That's all I did. So if you pause the video for like one eighth of a oh second, you get his whole phone number. Wow. And that was completely, I swear to you, completely unintentional. The, again, the power of the internet had like paused it, zoomed in, got his phone number off the screen of my phone going like this. Wow. So I had to delete that segment. So I, my, when I said I owe an apology, like, I do owe an apology to Melvin Johnson. I'm not gonna say I'm wrong. I'm not admitting guilt, I'm not wrong. But that was completely unintentional. I, I did not think that going like this would show a phone number on my phone. Wow. Granted, you scammed me, so I'm not giving, <laughs> I'm not letting that go. You tried to scam me and you only got away with $500. Congrats, it could have been a lot worse. But I didn't intentionally give out anybody's phone number, nor did I give out the sister's name or the brother's name. I could have. I could have done it, yeah. but I didn't. So anyway, let's go back outside. So I do owe an apology. My, my, we, we're in a small town. My yeah. police department's amazing. They know me by name, not because I'm a criminal, but just because we're a small business, like th one of the three small businesses yeah. in town. I see the chief everywhere. It's really cool being in a small town. So I'm sorry to my police department that even was put in a position where they felt it. like they needed to call me, that they had to deal with it. Um, and I guess Melvin got called all night, all night long. And that wasn't my intention. So thank you for the support. I appreciate it. I'm flattered. I, I, again, I'm really flattered about it. Not necessary. Please don't threaten his life. It's damage is done. Yeah. All right. We made it back in videos. It's over with. All right. <laughs> so with, that's, that's it about that one. We have some cool, thank you, Lauren. Thank you. So we have some cool stuff going on today that I wanted to show you while I'm chatting about this video because we're a mess. We have stuff everywhere. Why am I emptying an enclosed trailer? We sold the house up north. That house that was a uh, flip flop. I put it on the internet for sale just to see what would happen. Somebody made me an offer I can't refuse. I have to empty this trailer and I wanna show you something really, really cool that's in this trailer. The keys to this are in this, but let me just give like some honorable mentions. This is my nine passenger Cadillac processional limousine that we use for like concerts. This video is coming out very soon too. This is my Cadillac Escalade convertible that we made. It's pretty much Almost done. It's, I'm actually giving you too much of a sneak preview, but I want to show you what's in that trailer. Hey, Lauren, yes. when you get to the emails, let me know because I want to. I'm going to go into the trailer, but do we open them? Yeah, I want to give honorable mentions and credit where credit's due. So everybody that did reach out, 
I'm going to give shout outs to Ollie and we'll go through some emails in a minute as well. But without further ado, let's go inside this trailer. Phone's still ringing. You got Louisiana. I can't, I, I'm not going to get anything done today. I just have to leave my phone in the office. That person called me like five times, so that's a little too much. But thank you again. I, <laughs> I, I can't answer my phone all day. Please don't call me unless you're interested in a car. I can't say it enough. I'm flattered, but I just can't answer all the calls. Some of these are actually disturbing. Most are friendly, but this one says, you call me back. I won't mention the call. I'm going to say that he met me in a club and we hooked up. Come up with something like that. He should get tested. I'm going to ruin his whole day. Please call me back. That's far. That's, that's too do, far. That's doing yeah. too much. That is not why I made no. this video. I promise no. you, please don't do stuff like that. Uh, I really, so I texted them, I really appreciate the support, please don't call. I got a call from the police station telling me he had received calls nonstop since yesterday. Thank you though. Again, please don't. That's too far. Thank you though. Actually, let me say anything is too far. Everything, everything and anything besides watching just the video and leaving a comment down in the comment sections is too far, right? We don't need any action taken. Thank you though, I, I thank you, but please, please, please don't. All right, the trailer is almost ready to be released. What is in here? Yeah. So the first email I opened of the day about Melvin, it said, I live in the certain part of New York that Melvin lives in. Let is me it know. open? Yeah. Oh, let's read it. Yeah. Can you read it to me? Yeah. I saw your video posted about Melvin, happened to live near where he lives. If you happen to need someone to do a drive-by or anything, let me know. Drive-by, like, check out the house for me, or like... I don't know. I guess it could go either way. I don't know what he meant. What have I done? I don't know. <laughs> Open the can of worms. Wow. Well, all right. That's slightly scary. Yeah, I think so. All right. <laughs> You're laughing. I... <laughs> I don't, know. I don't know what I've created. Wait a minute. I'm thinking like, he probably meant, let me do a drive by and see if the Corvette's there. That's probably what he meant. So I'm gonna assume the best in people. Yeah. He wanted to see if the Corvette's there and if he could help me, so thank you. Yeah. What's his name? Matt. Matt, thank you, Matt. All right, I haven't even opened the trailer yet because my phone's been ringing, but I took a minute to read the comments. First of all, 168,000 views in like 14 hours, which is, no video of mine has ever performed that way. I wanna read some of these comments and go through and answer some questions real quick for everybody. So, first of all, $500 isn't a big deal. It's not gonna kill me, but it is the principle. Like, if it's happening to me, if someone's trying to scam me, the chances are I'm not the first person he's done this to. So it could happen to you, it could happen to anyone else if they're not aware of it. If they didn't cover their butt as, as well as I have, I could have easily gotten scammed out of significantly more money. Originally, he wanted me to ship it to him. So who knows what could have happened. Um, the, the, br his brother wired money to me from a different state, which is state to state. So that could be considered federal, criminal, criminal federal offense. So George Hunter, 40, 20, 40, George Hunter 4023 said, this being an interstate transaction with some electronic funds being involved, I'm thinking this could be a huge federal offense with big consequences involved. And he's probably right, but, hey, squeaky. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> but for, it's not worth my time. I, to Like, who am I gonna call? The New York State Police or the FBI? Like for $500, they're not gonna care about me. And I don't, whatever, I'm just gonna move forward. But he, I think he's right. Uh, somebody said, yes, it's entertaining, useful. Crush the Quarter said, yes, it's uh, all of the above. Entertaining, useful, informative, and educational. And yes, it's worth the effort for $500. It's the principle good versus evil. Uh, sounds like his sister is now liable too. She probably is. Her, she's part of the purchaser. She's half purchaser. Uh, Charles Deaton wrote, I trust everyone. I just don't trust the devil inside them. Italian job, I got you there. Mr. Rav Ravirian, I've done transactions high as $6,000. When a transaction's done, I have them meet me at the bank, preferably a bank that they have an account with. Uh, this is one of my favorites. EKUJJ13 wrote, Melvin isn't a scammer, he is a scam consultant who charged $500 as a continuing education fee on car buying scams. So yeah, I spent $500 to learn a new scam, learn a lesson. Uh, very disappointed Chase Bank, says Ralph Bender, especially after I provided all documentation. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna say this word wrong, but reticent, reticent, duet. My dude, you're a master of CYA. That's seriously impressive stuff. CYA is cover your butt. 
Always, and I, I say that just about every video, there are so many people that try to scam us. So Lauren, how many pe how many documents do you think we actually have that need to be signed? I would say at least, I don't know, six. Six? Yeah, I was gonna say eight, maybe yeah, six, to, six eight to eight pages of things that we need signatures on. And all of them just cover our butt, like crossing our T's and dotting our I's to make sure in any situation we're covered because you never know what's gonna happen. Cassette Toy 09 wrote, as soon as the antics started, you should have said deals off, end of story. If the car was as good as they say, then it would have sold to someone else. It would have. And based on my Facebook messages, I had like hundreds of Facebook messages. It probably would have, but cash in hand is better than a hundred Facebook messages offering me cash. So I kind of brushed him off for a good, what do you think? We brushed him off for like a week or so, just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you want to show up, yeah, whatever, yeah, show up. And he did show up. And he was supposed to show up with cash and it was supposed to be a wholesale deal. Wholesale meaning the original conversation was his brother calling me saying, hey, would you sell it at a discount dealer to dealer? And I'll give you cash. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. That's easy. Like easy peasy, lemon squeezy, it's done. That's how I wanted it. And then the brother called and I was now already down this slippery slope of, okay, yeah, I'll sell it. The brother's gonna come pick it up. Then the brother's gonna come pick it up but the brother's gonna pay for it. Oh, now it's in the brother's name. Oh, now from the brother, it's the brother and the sister's name. And then it went to, I don't have all the cash. My brother's gonna wire you half. And when I get there, I'm gonna give you the balance. And then when it was here, it was, oh, I don't have all the cash. Let me cash app you and Venmo you and Zell you, and then take another 500 on a card. He's already here. He already drove the car. So it was like, it wasn't just real quick. It was like a week's worth of, sliding down this dirt road that got worse and worse. John Laskow, 4939, wrote, anyone getting 29 minutes of a whining baby? Get away life, dude. I'm assuming he means get a life, dude. Yeah, you know what? I talk a lot. I know I do. Oh, someone else calling me. Hang on, let's see what this is. So this is my cousin. I bet he watched the video. Ready? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, making a video? What are you up to? Yeah, well, that's why I called you. Like, is it? Is that the one that you had in one of your videos on a car lit going? Yeah, the blue one. I think you called me on it uh, originally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm not telling you the story. you got to watch my video. I want that .07 cents per view. Dude, every time I click it, it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> my favorites is Leolo 2222. I don't have enough patience to listen to him tell me he has no patience. Get to the story already. I, I know I repeat myself. And you should see how much video content I leave on the cutting room floor because I just repeat and ramble and talk like I'm doing right now. So I wanna go through my text conversation because every story has two sides. So July 26th, we had already been chatting for quite some time. Lauren had actually been chatting with him for quite some time. August 20, I called him on, then I called him on August 22nd because I had, a month later had found out that he charged back the credit cards uh, and he yelled at me. And he said, it's not, and I wrote to him because he hung up on me. And I said, it's not fair that you raise your voice and yell at me. I didn't do anything wrong. You lied to me and told me you lost your credit card when in actuality you called your credit card company and lied to them about the $500. I hope you live up to your side and repay the $500 you canceled on me. I'd hate to inform your Corvette club of the type of person you are. Now we submit all our documentation. We get everything to the bank. We hear back September 12th. That is when he said, I have got no car. What happened to it? I just don't have no car. What happened to it? I just don't have no car. I never had a car. You never had a car. So he hung up on me again. So I sent him one more text because I really just want to give everybody the benefit of the doubt. I want to give him all a chance. And I texted him one more time on September 12th. Hey Melvin, I'm not sure if you're familiar with who I am or what I do for work. If you have a chance, check out Flying Wheels on YouTube. So I sent him a link, I show him how many views I get, how many subscribers we have, and I wrote, here's how many viewers my channel, here's how many viewers watch my channel monthly if you wanna check it out. And then I sent him the video that he made on camera. He made the video, he agreed to being on camera and being recorded, so I have his consent to be on video. All right, without further ado, let's see what's in this trailer because I told you it's gonna be a short video and I've been dragging it on. Behind me, inside this trailer, is a gem. All right, it's been in there for years. I don't know what it looks like anymore because I know this trailer leaks. It was once something really awesome, and now it's like what I would consider a barn find, trailer <laughs> find, whatever. Are you ready for this? Hasn't seen the light of day in literally years. And last time I put it away, it caught on fire. Whoa. 
smells. You see real quick? It smells in here. This is a 1996 Nissan 240SX, zero rust, with an LS1. Oh my God, it smells so bad like must in here. Look at the roof all moldy. Um, LS1 Corvette V8, five, six speed T56 manual transmission. Oh, no. How bad is this thing? So last time I drove this, it caught on fire. You can see the fire damage here. And look at, there's water right there. So uh, that's my 1984 Honda CB125. My grandfather got me that for my birthday when I was a child. That's coming out today. This, you can see all the fire damage. Everything was melted. Look at, oh no. That's my ECU. Shoot. I hope my ECU didn't catch fire. Mildew everywhere. I don't even know if it's okay for me to climb in that thing. All right, let's get it out of here. Cosmos Racing Wheels. This, oh geez, look at all the water here. My hood caught fire there. Oh jeez. The fuse panel. Look at everything singed here. That fuse line, uh, fuel line broke right there. This is such a fun car to drive, but it is, it needs a full restoration again. Alright, it's the end of the day, Friday night. My phone still going crazy. I'm just getting home. And uh, I, I barely got anything done besides getting that 240 out of the garage because my phone just kept ringing. And uh, surprisingly, a lot were actually like people that visited my website that were interested in cars too, which is cool. It's 9 o'clock at night. I'm still getting calls. It hasn't stopped all day. Next day, my phone's still ringing. Hello, this is Craig. Hey Craig, how's it going? This is Daniel Pingo. So I will say the good thing about that video going viral is it's brought in a ton of customers from all over the country. I had somebody call me that wanted to sell me their Supra. That guy previously wanted to, uh, that just called, wanted to buy a Z06 Corvette. So I wasn't anticipating like the lead generation nationwide because we're at like 400,000 views in two days now and just people are reaching out from all over. Most to just talk about the video, but surprisingly some to like have me do car searches for them, find cars, or like my website clicks, the traffic has been tremendous going to my website, which I just was not expecting. I literally just hung up the phone and got off that last video clip, and here's another call. It, hello, this is Craig. Hey, I'm calling me about the Cadillac Escalade 2016, yeah, uh, for sale. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Uh, calling from New York? Uh, yes, I am. Nice, how can I help you? The calls are still coming. Hello, this is this is Craig. Hey, did you just get ripped off on a guy on a Corvette? I did, yeah. Okay, I just called. I, I'm watching your video, man. You're gonna get it, Dad. But uh, hey, you know, try to save all those texts too, because you can use that in court against him. Because you try to, I got a person to admit that he owed me money, and then I showed that to the judge, and then I, then they, I got one to case. So, oh, uh, good. You, yeah, that's a good yeah. tip. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Okay, man. Take Appreciate care. it very I'll much. It. Hey, have a good night. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. You <laughs> all day, all day long. Now it's it's the evening, so it just keeps happening all day long. It's Monday morning now. That video went viral, like extremely viral. Like it's at like, I woke up to seven hundred thousand views in uh, three days. It's crazy. So I got a call at two a.m. last night from a nine seven eight area code, which is Massachusetts. So I'm like, what's up? Something's got to be important, but I ignored it. And I got the voicemail, and it's a visual voicemail, so I can read it. So it it was about the video. So somebody called me, and the reason I said Massachusetts because like it could be California, so three hours behind. So maybe it was only eleven o'clock at night, which is even the cutoffs at nine. This don't call people past nine o'clock, okay? But two a.m. So it was two a.m. his time. Called me to chat about the video. It is now Monday. The video aired Thursday night. I'm getting calls like crazy all day. Private number, Tennessee, Texas, North Carolina, just all day today even, my phone has just been ringing like crazy. I can't get any work done. I can't answer any phone calls that aren't outside of a New Hampshire area code because of this video. It's only been two minutes and another call. Hello, hello, this is Craig. 
Hey, Craig, this is Josh calling from Los Angeles. How are you doing today? Hey, Josh, how can I help you? Hey, man, real quick, I saw your video. I mean, I'm, I was on YouTube. So I'll say, like, the, the calls, I have to remember, my phone might ring 500 times today, but that was his one call. And I remember when I was starting YouTube, um, there was a, a car dealer that had one owner car guy. He had 100,000 subscribers. And I'm like, geez, how did he do it? How did he do it? So I looked him up and I called him. I had like 20,000 subscribers. And I was just going to ask like, hey, how'd you do it? I, I want to do what you do. And when he answered the phone, he was kind of crass. Yeah. I'm like, hey, introduce myself. I admire what you do. I watch your show. And he's like, dude, I'm at the gym right now. Why are you calling and bothering me? And I, I never forgot that. I'm like, oh, what a dick that guy was. Um, and then later I learned like, yeah, so I might get a hundred calls, but it was their first call. So everybody that calls me to them is like, oh, I'm just going to call this guy and say thanks, or I'm going to call this guy and give him my advice or what I think. So I, I really appreciate the support. There's just so many of them. I can't keep up on them. So if I'm not answering your calls, I apologize, but it's because there's just too many. So it's the end of the night, Monday night, like one hour before the video airs, and I'm still editing this video. I woke up to 700,000 views this morning. It just keeps going a bit. Like when I have a video that performs well, eventually it just slows down pretty quickly. This one just keeps going, and I'm gonna refresh it right now just to see what it's at like right now. 759,000 views since Thursday. It's Monday, so that's wild. Why did I make this video? I don't really, I don't, I don't really know. I. I I don't know, I just didn't know what to expect. It's like, I should be fortunate that I had a viral video. Really, really cool. So thank you so much for watching my videos. The comments I read, like, there were like 1,700 comments. I read them all, so I really appreciate it. Um, I love the support. Please don't call him though. Please don't call me. I guess that's the point of the video. So to show you like what it was like to get a viral video, uh, the backlash from the police and everything else, I don't think I did anything wrong. The police officer said I didn't do anything wrong. Um, it was just kind of cool to see how many people had my back. So thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's been an interesting few days, uh, and hopefully this, the phone stops, slows down a little bit. Thanks for watching. I, I, I promise I'll fix that uh, fire smoke detector one day. I'll see you all later. Hey, just comment down below what you guys think. Am I wrong? Like, Am I right? Am I rude, short, okay? Did I handle everything okay? Um, thanks for watching.